Okay, so let's solve this question from NCRT. Um, so here the equation of the curves are y square equals to 9x, x equals to 2, and x equals to 4, and the x-axis, and the x-axis. So we should also know the equation of x-axis. I think you know that is y equals to 0. Okay. So first we should draw the approximate graphs of these functions. Okay. So let's draw the graph. This is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So the x-axis, this is obviously the positive y-axis and below we have the negative y-axis. Then uh, so y square equals to 9x will be uh, something like this. So this is the name of the shape is called a parabola, obviously. Okay. Now the equation of this is y square equals to 9x. And see, if we just solve this, then we get uh, y equals to plus or minus root over 9x. Okay. And that is equal to, I can write, plus or minus 3 root x. Yes or no? Hence, the part which is above the x-axis, this branch will have the equation plus 3 root x. And the branch which is below the x-axis, that will have y equals to minus 3 root x. Okay. So, and we also should draw the straight line x equal to 2. That is nothing but, that is a straight line which is, which is uh, parallel to the y-axis and it will intersect the x-axis at 2 comma 0. Okay. So, this is x equals to 2. And one more straight line, which is x equals to 4, that will be also like this, which is parallel to the y-axis. And that will intersect the x-axis at 4 comma 0. Okay. And the equation of this straight line will be obviously x equals to 4. Okay. Now, here it is asked that we have to find the area only in the first quadrant. No. So, it means that um, only this part, we need to find the area of this region only. This part, we have to find the area. So let's say the area of this is a square units, okay. a square units. So how much will be a? A will be nothing but the integral of root, sorry. Yeah, it will be three root x dx and the limits are two to four. So since 3 is a constant, we can take it outside of the integral. That will be 3 integral of 2 to 4 root x dx. So as we know, the formula which we have to use, actually, the important formula which will be used here, that is integral x power n dx, we know that is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Let's see, obviously, but if uh, we have the definite integral, then we don't need the arbitrary constant, obviously. Okay. Now, this formula we will use to solve. Okay. Yeah. So, that is equal to 3 integral x power half, since it is the square root dx and the limits are from 2 to 4. Okay. So that will be 3 uh, times x power half plus 1 by half plus 1. And the limits of the integral is from 2 to 4. Okay. So that will be equal to 3 um, x power 3 by 2 
divide by 3 by 2 and the limits are from 2 to 4 okay so this will be 3 times this 3 by 2 if it will go up that will become 2 by 3 obviously and times this is 4 power 3 by 2 minus 2 power 3 by 2 since we have to insert we have to put this 4 here and then uh, this 2 here 2 in place of this x actually okay we can just rub these annotations okay so how much will be this so 3 and 3 will get cancelled and that will be 2 times this will be 2 power 3 minus this is root 2 power 3 how much is that since uh, 2 power half is root 2 then uh, root 2 power 3 so that is 2 root 2 okay so that is 2 times 8 minus 2 root 2 okay or if you want you can write that is i can take 2 as common outside that will be 4 times um 4 minus root 2 this much square units okay so this is the answer thank you